This may not be your normal tobacconist, but the owners of this shop believe they're onto a good thing. It's a store dedicated to vaping, that is, smoking an electronic cigarette. Smokers wanting to kick the habit can choose their pipe kit, the flavor, and even the strength of nicotine liquid they want to vape. A healthy alternative, they say, to smoking real cigarettes. I'm not a doctor, but I'm, I have smoked for 12 years, more than 20, 25 cigarettes per day. And I, quick for, I stopped six months ago, and I feel my body completely different than before. The health risks of cigarettes have been widely known for decades. Smoking has been seen increasingly as an antisocial habit. But with these cigarettes, it's a different situation. For a start, there's no smoke and much less of the associated problems. And many here at this e-cigarette conference believe it's time to distinguish between smoking and vaping. There are questions surrounding the use of e-cigarettes. Do the benefits really outweigh the risks? And do they really help people to quit smoking? But part of the problem is that there is mostly anecdotal evidence surrounding this issue. And there are only a few rigorous studies that examine whether they really are healthier for you than actual cigarettes. Those in favour say the benefits of vaping can't be ignored and that it's time to change attitudes to combat the effects of smoking. WHO estimates that a billion people will die from smoking in the 21st century. Now, if you could get a substantial number of people to use these products rather than smoke over the long term, you could possibly save hundreds of millions of lives out of that one billion death, uh, that one billion death toll. But e-cigarettes have not been around for long, so there's no long-term evidence for other side effects. Like normal cigarettes, they are addictive, and it's an opportunity for the big tobacco companies to take advantage of their mass appeal. If you're selling an addictive product and e-cigarettes are addictive just like cigarettes are, then you've got a massive potential opportunity to make vast sums of money um, out of the public and that's why you need to control the marketing. For now, scientists are cautiously welcoming e-cigarettes as a viable alternative. In the short term, it may be a way of avoiding some of the harmful illnesses such as bronchitis and emphysema associated with smoking. The long-term effects, though, are still a long way from being known. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, London.